Hey everybody, I'm Brad and this is Cyberfluidics from Tattoo Smart. If you're interested in pseudo filtering, this is the video where I teach you all about the substrate layer. It's a little bit intensive and you're going to need to do a little bit of customization, but trust me, it's all worth the effort. Don't give up on me now, you've made it so far. To make your brushes ready to create substrate patterns, you're going to need to unpack them. What you want to do first, let's just go through this step by step first. Delete this. All right. Make a new brush folder. We'll call this substrate. See, so I already have one below there, but I'm going to show you how to make a new one. So you have that now. Go to your Cyberfluidics brushes and pick a brush that you want to make a pattern out of. I'm going to pick node, duplicate it, and you're going to want to use a small one, which I'll explain in very shortly here. Pick one of those small ones, the blue ones, and I'm going to drag this over to the substrates. Takes a few tries. Finally, uh, you know what? I can't explain why it's so hard to do it. Ask Procreate. Okay, so you have your node here. Let's open this up and come down to your grain right here. And go down here to blend mode. Change this from hard mix to multiply. And it should just look like this, like a soft pattern that's supposed to be. At this stage, you can also feel free to play with the scaling. I have the scaling set on all the other brushes to be a very specific place. Feel free to do whatever you want with this at this stage. There you go. That's it. So now what you need to do, open up your layers. And let's say you already have a drawing. Uh, if you have a drawing that has transparency in it, like this, if you have things showing through, don't do that. Uh, you want to you want to solidify this here. So make a new layer, put in a background color, of either white or black. Put it below your drawing and then double click on it and click merge down. That way you have a good flat. Oh, what just happened here? Oh, change this from hard mix to normal. Make sure it's on normal mode before you do it. Now hit merge down. Now you should have a good, clean, totally filled layer. Okay. Now for your substrate layer, make a new layer below your drawing. Fill it with the other white or black. Fill it with white. Now choose your opposite color. Go back to your brushes into your new substrate folder. And with this node selected, let me actually just turn off the top layer so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to make it as big as we can. I'm going to shrink this way down just so I can cover the whole area really easily. That's it. Now come back up to your top layer. Turn it on. Make sure it's on hard mix mode. And that's it. Uh, this is this video is just for how to set up your layers. I'll go into all the details of manipulation in the next ones. Oh, the reason you want to use small patterns, is I'll show you this right now. If you use a large pattern and it comes out like this, well, it's it's not very fine. You know, maybe you want it like this, but maybe you want to shrink it down. Problem with that is every time you select and move, it crops everything outside of the edges there. 
my policy is that I always make them as small as possible. And then if I want to increase the size, just make a duplication. So you can save that original that you have. 